Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But if you start the devotional guys, I'm ready to shout out the Paling Preserve channel na napunta rito at nag-join sa devotional. Shout out and God bless to Team Masonorin sa mga uh, sudyante ko. Shout out to Clarice Silado, Arnis Delpino, Mariel Kaay, Rodan Kagalawan, Luverne Cajitas, Claire Lamis, Ayesa Oracion, Diane Magsayo, Mark Binghay, James Taryao, Chelsea Del Pilar, Fiona Matadling, Asli Balani, Greg Salpama, Arvin Tabunan, Kent Noble, to Tim Matulongin, shout out to Dona Abilong, Kian Bautista, John Lynn Solon, Jesteril Gersaga, Ayan C.C., Raden Cepida, Josibel Soles, Roxanne Espertas, Gilbert Silion, uh, shout out din sa mga friend ko na mga YouTuber, kay Cory Blog, Yan Stevie, Michael Aborita, Pimbert Tolpo, Retro Blog, SSC TV of Korea, And even to the team, Maparaan, shout out to Junwe Abiden, uh, Darrell P.S., Debbie Ortez, Kimberly Bapilar, Hernani Magabo, Grant Neil Puertas, Aljin Sugabo, Kim Alcantara, Francis Canoy, Ian Quaton, Therese TV, and even to my caregiving students sa team maunawain, shout out to Juliana Istopel and to Laika Portugana. God bless us all, guys. TV Guys, yung pala absent ako uh, ngayon, no? Kasi wedding ng pamangkin ko. Shout out to Mark Carlo Lumbayan at sa uh, asawa niya na nag ano, na talaga kanina umaga, no? God bless you as you live happily ever after in your married life. I guess it's not proceed to devotion. Let's open our Bible to Amos chapter 3, the whole verses, no? Uh, there are 1 to 15. This is about witness, uh, witnesses summoned against Israel. No? Uh, tama ba ako? So, uh, yes. Witnesses against someone Israel. No? Still, guys, have you seen the devotion of the Bible? Because the words you say so simply quite limited na talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Amos chapter 3 says, Hear this word, the Lord has spoken against you, O people of Israel, against the whole family I brought up out of Egypt. You only have I chosen of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your sins. Uh, do to walk together unless they have agreed to do so. Does a lion roar uh, in the thicket? With, when he has no prey, does he growl in his den when he has caught nothing? Does a bird fall into a trap on the ground where no snake has been set? Does a trap spring up from the earth? When there is nothing to catch, when a trumpet sounds in a city, do not the people tremble? When disaster comes to a city, has not the Lord caused it? Surely the sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophet. The lion has roared, who will not fear? The sovereign Lord has spoken, who can but prophesy? Proclaim the purchases of Asdad and the purchases of Egypt. Assemble yourselves on the mountain of Samaria. See the great unrest within her and oppression among her people. They do not know how to do right, declares the Lord, who heard plunder and loot in their purchases. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. An enemy will overrun the land. He will pull down the, your strongholds and plunder your fortresses. This is what the Lord says. As a shepherd saves from the lion's mouth only the two bones of a piece of an ear, so will the Israelites be saved. Those who sit on Samaria on the edge of their beds and in Damascus on their couches, hear this and testify against the house of Jacob, declares the Lord, the Lord God Almighty. And the day I punish Israel for her sins, I will destroy the altar of Bethel. The horn of the altar will be cut off and fall 
to the ground. I will hear down the winter house along with the summer house. The houses adorned with ivory will be destroyed, and the mansions will be, will be demolished, declares the Lord. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Father God, when you punish, it's really a punishment and it's terrible. Forgive us, dear God, if we have sinned against you, O God. Teach us, O Lord, to live your destiny and purpose. Many times we disobey you. Do we know what you are saying to us? Lord, forgive us. Forgive us. Do not destroy us, O God, like what you did sa mga pinili mo, O God, the Jews. Lord, let us live longer, O God. Keep us away from danger because you are a protector. The word sinner, but yet you are so gracious also, loving and merciful. Lord, I pray sa mga nandito ngayon, O God, who really make time to come and join this devotion. Bless each one, O God, that each one will become a blessing. Lord, I pray that with you, O God, nothing is impossible. Lalong-lalo na sa mga hinihingi namin at ang kapatawaran sa mga ginawa namin hindi magaganda para sa iyo. Bless each one, O God, in Jesus' name, pray. Amen and Amen. The focus verse of the same guys is found in Amos chapter 3 verse 2. It says, You only have I chosen of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your sins. So, ano naman, no? Sila ang pinili ni Lord, but yet, they too, sin. Gaya din natin, makasalanan din tayo. So, the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is Live Your Destiny and Purpose. In today's chapter, God speaks out against Israel with three strong points. One, He speaks out against the whole family I brought up out of Egypt. In verse 1, The Lord fulfilled His promise to Abraham. That was, what was this promise? That Abraham would be a father of many nations after over 400 years of slavery in Egypt. God delivered Israel so that she could fulfill her destiny. Second, he states, You only have I chosen of all families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your sins. In verse 2, Israel as a chosen nation, had a great responsibility to carry. Israel could not leave her destiny if she was walking in sin. The Apostle Paul wrote, But where is sin increased? Grace increased all the more. Romans 5.20b Kung babasahin natin yung Romans. We sometimes take this verse lightly, living in sin, knowing that we will be forgiven by God I am reminded that I am a new creation. Doubt is gone, so I must live my life for God's glory. I cut off my relationship to sin so that I may live my destiny and purpose. Number three. Finally, surely the sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophet. Sabi nasa natin sa verse 7. God never enforced His judgment to the Israelites without revealing or disclosing it to the prophets that gave the people enough time to seek God's mercy and forgiveness. Ay, paano na lang yan ngayon? Wala tayong prophet na wala na magsasabi na, oh, you sin against God, kaya... So, we need to be very careful. But there is Bible for us to read. Ko ano yung word ni Lord. There are those churches for us to listen to the word sa mga sinasabi ng mga preachers natin to our respective churches. Kaya alam minsan, no, uh, we take the message for granted. Even this time, no, if you're this uh, word, then I urge you, encourage you to take charge as uh, forgiveness from God kasi makasala, makasalaan tayo. No? Sa lesson nga natin, di ba? If you sin, there is really a consequence. No? If you have done good, there's also a good consequence na matatanggap natin. Diba? Sa mga sudyante ko, that is a reminder. Kaya if you have committed a sin, no, 
ask God's forgiveness and He will forgive you. Remember, God's grace is so wide and so deep. No? God's mercy is there and God's love is also being poured unto us. I guess let's not pray. Abba Father, guard our heart so that we may not fall into temptation and sin against you. Amen. Amen. Yes, guys, let us always guard our heart so we may not fall in any temptation. God bless us all guys because I know what your best is 10 times better. This again is Swiss TV. Kita kita tayo mo na itong sumuli. Paanan!